In today's video, I will be installing this NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti in my Dell Inspiron 3671. We have two challenges in the Dell Inspiron. The first is that if you didn't yet change the power supply in your Dell Inspiron, it comes with a 290 watts power supply and it cannot support this graphics card. And the second challenge is that the power supply that is supplied in this Dell Inspiron doesn't have a PCIe connector and this card needs here a PCIe connector. For me, these two challenges were resolved because in another video, if you remember, I upgraded the PSU of this Dell Inspiron. By the way, also, if you want to see how I upgraded the PSU of this Dell Inspiron, you can look in the description for a link. So I installed the Corsair TX650M semi-modular PSU in this Dell Inspiron. And of course, this Corsair PSU has also a PCIe connector so that I can install this card. Also, at the end of the video, I'll be doing some benchmarking. So I'll be doing a Fermark benchmark, and this is for two reasons. I'm gonna see if the card overheats, and also I'm gonna see the frames per second that the Fermark benchmark will give me. And I'll be doing some gaming on it, some Fortnite to see the frames per second. So let's go open up the Dell and install the card in it. Opening the Dell is really easy. It has two screws here, you need to remove them. So I'm going to do this quickly. And then you slide the top cover like this. And you just remove it. And as you notice, my Dell is pretty heavily customized. So this is the PSU that I talked about, the Corsair TX650M that I installed. I also installed a Noctua AF ultra low noise fan and you also can check the description to see how I installed this fan. It has also some additional USB ports. Also, I'm gonna put a link in the description if you care to see how I installed these. So now, the purpose of this video is, as I said, installing the GPU. So this is a GT1030 that I'm gonna remove and I'm gonna install this RTX 3060 Ti in place of it. So let's first remove the current GPU. Of course, the Dell comes without a discrete GPU. It has an integrated Intel GPU, but this one, I also installed this card in it. So to remove it here, I put a screw to it. So normally the Dell comes here with the gate that closes, but I found out that putting a screw is really better for the card, so it doesn't move. So just removing it here. So this is it. And here I'm gonna see if I already have a PCIe cable, otherwise I'll have to put one. And because this is a semi-modular PSU, I have to install one that comes with it. So this is it. Let me check first if I have one here that is free. So apparently I have one that is free. So it takes an eight pin and this is six plus two. So I need to put it on the right side, which is like this. So when I install it, I'm gonna install it like this. I have some cables I think that I need to remove. So first, I'm gonna make some space. So this here, I need to remove it. I'll be installing it later, of course. So this is a SATA power for my USB card. And this here should be okay. And let me put it in place. And let me free up the PCIe. So, this here is a PCI Express 16 slot. And here it has a PCI Express 16 also connector. And it needs two empty bays here. So, I previously removed these. To remove these, it's very easy. You just have to push them in and just yank them a little bit and they can be removed. So let me install it now. And here it is installed in place. And of course, I'm gonna secure it also 
with a screw because I found it's better to secure it with a screw and not only with the gate so that to keep it steady in place. So this is a screw. And now the card is tightly secure. I still have to connect it to the PCIe power. So as I said, this is it. So this is six plus two. I'm gonna put them together. And let's install it now. And here it is installed. And I still have to re-put the SATA cable that I removed from there. To be able to install it, I'm gonna remove this. It has three pins to be removed, so I'm simply gonna remove them. And here it is. And now it's much, much easier to install the SATA power bank. And here it is installed. It's very important to tidy up the cables so that you don't have like a short circuit in your PC and I'm satisfied with the cables as they are. Let me put back the shroud. So here's the card installed. As you notice it is connected and these are the video outputs of the card. So it has an HDMI and it has three display ports. So let me close up the Dell now and try the card. In Fortnite, the card performed exceptionally well, so I put Fortnite here on the highest settings on Full HD 1920x1080. And as you notice here, the card was averaging around 130 until 170 frames per second, so something in between. And the GPU temperature, the maximum one it reached was 78 degrees Celsius only. And the GPU utilization was used like 95% and the CPU was hovering around 60%, which means that my i5 9400 CPU is not a bottleneck for the card. So now let's go to the Furmark testing to see the benchmark of this GPU. Here I set up Furmark to perform a test at Full HD that is 1920 1080p and for 10 minutes and the GPU maximum temperature reached 78 degrees Celsius which is not bad at all and the average frames per second was 172 frames per second which is excellent and the total score of the fur mark was 103,523 which is also excellent. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.